So this is um, an introduction to uh, a method of remembering that we're going to be using all semester, and I call it the review frame. So this is your comp book. It's open to a double page spread. And on this side, what I like you to do is I'd like you to draw a frame. So you're going to draw a big rectangle and then divide and then divide it down the middle here and then um, draw a line about three quarters of a way down. So your frame looks something like that. And then, um, I don't know, just to, just to help you, um, at least in the beginning, go ahead and number from to about eight on the side here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here, I'd like you to write the word happened. Slash did. Happened slash did, did, past tense of done. And here, I'd like you to write um, images. Slash saw the past tense of C. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take some kind of topic. So um, in uh, in my case, I often use it to as a diary method to remember um, what happened the day before, and uh, it's a different kind of remembering than just sitting there and trying to do stuff in order um, in your mind. Like yesterday I got up, then I had breakfast, and then I walked the dogs, whatever it is that you did. Um, this is more like, um, if you've ever taken a trip somewhere, like to Paris, say you went to Paris, and uh, you had a very good time, and then when you came home, and it's a couple of years later, and you're remembering your trip, um, Oddly, instead of remembering the Eiffel Tower or the Arc de Triomphe, uh, what you remember is this guy who was making you a crepe and how there was crepe batter on the edge of his sleeve. Or that you, you remember standing at a, um, at a crosswalk and uh, looking down and seeing like a bottle cap embedded into the, uh, the tar of the road. Um, it's as if there are, and you think, well, why, why am I remembering that? Um, I don't know the answer to why, but what I do know is there seems to be another part of us that is taking snapshots all day long, um, noticing things that we don't necessarily even notice that we're noticing until uh, these odd memories come back. And that part of us is the part I'm interested in, and that's the part that we're going to be working um, with in this class. So the basic idea of the review frame is this it takes about six minutes to do, um, and in the uh, the next video um, you'll be it will I'll actually walk you through the exercise, um, and in this one all I ask people to do is spend two and a half minutes writing down things that happened yesterday or things that uh, you did. Um, so what happened yesterday as I walked through the dogs through the grove, I got prepared for this class. I recorded a couple of videos. Um, I pick tomatoes, uh, whatever it is that you happen to do uh, during the day. You just list as many as you can in about um, two and a half minutes. This section is things that you saw. And it's a little bit odd because um, sometimes what you saw is yourself picking tomatoes. Um, but really what you might be seeing is the tomato itself, like the strange shape that this particular one that you, uh, you grabbed. Or um, when you're walking your dog, maybe what you, when you're remembering it, if you really look at what you're seeing in your head, it's the way their little white paws um, looked when, they're, when they were walking. So in this one, it's just writing down, taking about two and a half minutes to um, ask yourself kind of what pictures did you take uh, during the day. Um, uh, and this is something that actually gets stronger the more you use the review frame. There's a part of you that realizes that you're paying attention uh, to what it's doing. Um, and uh, it gets stronger over the course of uh, the week, especially if you use this um, as a weekly diary. Um, because all of a sudden you'll notice some part of you that's uh, 
that's engaged um, in staring at a, at a bird for a while. That thing that we call spacing out, which isn't always spacing out, it's kind of spacing in. So two and a half minutes for uh, what happened or what you did, uh, two and a half minutes for images or things that you saw. This section here is a quote, usually. It's something that you heard somebody say or that you read or that you heard in a song, some line. Sometimes we have a song that just repeats um, over and over in our head. Um, uh, right now, I, I have this song uh, by, I think it's pronounced Krangbin is the, the, the musicians, and it's this song, um, So We Won't Forget. And I keep hearing uh, this line, so we won't forget. So I would write that, so we won't forget. And here, this section, I like to take about 30 seconds to draw one of these things that we saw. So it's just a teeny tiny drawing of something um, that you saw. Um, alternately, you can use this for 30 seconds to uh, write down a question you have about the day. So that's the review frame. What's amazing about the review frame is you can use it for um, to remember yesterday. You can also use it to remember your entire life. I mean, we're when we think about yesterday, that's maybe a 24 hour period, but we could also do this with our entire life. You could say to yourself, you have two and a half minutes to write down things that happened in your life or that you did, maybe looking at milestones. Um, uh, and so that's trying to get to, from your whole life from I was born to today. Um, same thing, things that you saw that, that stuck with you, you know, good or bad, um, or neutral, or you don't even know why when you ask yourself um, that you're remembering making um, pancakes in, um, in, uh, in your eighth grade home ec class, um, and the teacher saying you have to watch it until the bubbles come up. Whatever it is, you, you don't know necessarily. And then something that somebody said um, that just stuck with you, whatever it might be. I had a neighbor across the street who told me that I, when I was a little girl, he told me I was a cross between a, a jackrabbit and a barbed wire fence. That always stayed with me. I found out later that the phrase is really a jackass and a barbed wire fence, but he was um, cognizant of the fact that I was still young. Although I really was a cross between a jackass and a barbed wire fence. And he, then here again, um, uh, a drawing, a quick 30 second drawing of something uh, that, uh, that you saw or remembered or a question that's kind of haunted you. Um, you know, whatever happened to, to my uh, parakeet uh, budgerina once uh, she got out of the house. The other thing you can use this for is to review anything. Um, any, say you have, you have the, the misfortune of having to read some academic paper. Um, and you know that thing when you're reading and you don't even necessarily know um, if you're reading or not, you know, when you're just reading along and you realize your eyes have gone ac across the words, but there's some point where you realize your eyes are moving, but you're definitely not there. Um, and then you start again and the same thing happens and little tears of boredom. Um, but sometimes I use this to find out if I really read something or not. So again, um, it's sort of to, uh, I don't know, to use it in a different way. You can use this by writing, um, what are, uh, take two and a half minutes to review, what are some of the points or the things that this uh, writer made? What are some of the points or pieces of information that were in that piece? And then what did you visualize? Because it's really hard to read something without visualizing something, without picturing it. So to start to notice what you pictured while you were reading it. And in fact, having this, knowing that you're going to do a, a spend six minutes doing a review frame after you read some text, um, will help you start to visualize what it is you're reading and that'll help you remember it. Uh, a quote, something that stood out in particular from the piece that you read, and then um, either a drawing of something you visualized or a question that you might um, have. Uh, this review frame is really, really flexible, and um, I hope that you can use it and it helps. It helps you. Um,
in the next videos I'll talk about, uh, we'll do the timing, and then I'll talk about, I'm just going to talk about it a little bit here, uh, the X page, which is expanding something. So say I took uh, something on my list, which was watching my, I have a dog um, who was uh, brought to us um, in a very weakened state, um, and uh, she's a lot better now, she's a lot stronger. So um, one of the things that would be on my list of something that I saw yesterday was watching her run ahead of me and seeing how much stronger her legs have gotten. So I might write that, that Ms. T's legs are stronger. And then this is going to be me sort of expanding that scene by asking myself a bunch of questions about the circumstances of that scene. So it's almost like you're, uh, you're doing a, a close-up or, or um, just moving in to the scene. So that's in, that's also will be in the um, other uh, videos about the next three parts of the exercise. And then after that, um, after you've gotten this done, you'll do a little drawing of the scene and then you'll write it up. So that's the introduction to the review frame. And then there are three more videos uh, that follow this. Ta-da.